Most people only monitor blood pressure once a year at their doctor's office. The University of Minnesota's Franz Hallberg says one reading is not enough. One reading can tell you that you are still alive. The Romanian-born physician and scientist has 25 years of data about his blood pressure, measured every 30 minutes, 24 hours a day, every single day. Because it could be a lifelong tool. He says monitoring blood pressure for even just one week could give powerful clues about anyone's health. Dozens of scientists around the world track their blood pressure this way and share the data with him. Halberg's theories had him branded as a lunatic in 1959 when he coined the term circadian rhythm to explain how life tunes to the cycles of day and night. Today, he's honored for that discovery and more, according to the co-director of his Minnesota Chronobiology Center, German Cornelissen. It was Dr. Halberg who really started the field of chronobiology. Chronos is the Greek word for time. Hallberg studies the human health effects of periodic events that range from second-long cycles in the brain to lunar months to multi-year flares on the sun. He says blood pressure patterns link these cycles with health by revealing long-term peaks and valleys and sudden spikes that seem to correspond to strain and stress. Shift workers with erratic schedules have a higher risk for heart disease. So Hallberg's team says they need this monitoring, like radio broadcaster Len Houle. I wake up at 4 a.m. on Friday mornings. It kind of wipes me out a little bit. I'm kind of wasted. <laughs> or bartender Molly Savory. I'm just naturally more of a night person, so I'm more awake at night. According to Ken Wright, director of a University of Colorado sleep lab, feeling good about an unusual shift doesn't guarantee that it's healthy. And we truly don't understand what makes one person more vulnerable for something one negative outcome versus another right now, and that's really a hot area of research that we're trying to understand. While Wright prefers to measure things like brainwave patterns, he suspects that a better blood pressure cuff would add to the discoveries. Hallberg says that in time, blood pressure monitors will be smaller than a wristwatch, making long-term screening commonplace, along with new discoveries about health. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Minneapolis, Minnesota.